welcome to another episode of It Resolves. My name is Kevin. My name is Will. Welcome back. Uh, <laughs> that things went wrong. <laughs> freaking hilarious. <laughs> A good start to this episode. Guys, welcome oh, yeah. to the podcast. Um, thanks for tuning in. <laughs> <laughs> I just messed you up real bad. <laughs> it's December 20th. It's a great day to be here, wherever we are and you are, I hope, unless you're watching this from prison. Um, It's a great day to be. In which case, hey, how's it going? You down on your luck, bud? Uh, (laughs) Let me change the scene. All right. Kev. Kev, Kev, Kev. Yes. What are we doing today? All right. So, um, first of all, this is going to be a lax episode. I'm just warning you now. But we're going to start off with our card of the day. Uh, We had two streams this past week, so we're going to talk about those. We are streamed uh, out. We're going to play a game of Would You Rather yeah. today uh, in honor of we didn't want to write an episode. And Pretty much. Uh, finishing out with our question of the week and then, of course, our crack of packs. So yep. without further ado, we will get right into it with our random card of the day. Let's see what we get. <laughs> Herd Nar. That's a fun <laughs> This is a uh, 2-2 Beast uh, from Time Spiral, uh, which is a great set. Let it yes. be known. Yes. Uh, this is a common yes. for three and a green. Uh, like I said, two two. Whenever another creature comes into play under your control, it gets plus two plus two until end of turn. Don't play this ever in any format at all. Yeah. Period. I don't really see it as good unless no, it's not. I promise it's. I not. could buy an argument for limited as filler. No, that I'm saying don't play it in limited either. You don't think so? So all right, you're gonna play this turn four. Right. And then wait until turn five to be able to make it really stinking big. So you give your opponent a turn to kill it. Yeah, but they do kind of have to kill it. Not necessarily. Because it will get pretty big. Unless they have chump blockers. Like they don't need, That's fair. They don't need to kill yeah. it if they've got chump blockers. Or really anything that can chump. That's fair. Plus, at turn four, in limited, if you are playing anything that is semi-aggressive, this is your four drop? <laughs> really? This is gonna dig you out of a hole potentially. Like it's it's just not good. It's also all. worth Give noting it. it doesn't block well because no, unless your instant speed are flashing in creatures, which flash was a thing, but I don't think yeah. very prominent in Time Spiral. I I can't think of a card with flash. In um, Time Spiral. so like but. it's not gonna happen. Yeah, I mean think about the quadrant test. You remember yeah. the four parts? Yeah. It does nothing in the first quadrant in the beginning. Yeah. If you're losing, this is absolute garbage okay if it if the board is at parity nah and if you're winning i mean yeah it doesn't. okay it's not that great no i'm with you no don't play this ever yeah i don't think it's fine good. now okay the only way to make it good is if you can get out before turn four and then have a bunch of itty bitty creatures behind it like if you have two one drops behind it all right boom boom i have a situation in which it's good tell me okay a gruel commander deck Okay. Yeah. Just hear me out. Okay. I'm, I'm on board. You play this on turn four. Okay. Okay. Or any earlier if you can. Yeah, 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 All right. Yeah, yeah. And then you storm off with empty the Warrens okay. the next turn. Okay. I guess technically you need black in this, so we're jund. <laughs> and then you flesh and blood the opponent equal to target creature's attack. Yeah. You deal that damage directly to them. Yeah. So in that situation, you play it. I mean, yeah. Other than that's that, actually, no, don't play it. <laughs> I mean, that kind of works. I was thinking, it's so janky, I was thinking, though. That's it, so bad. I was thinking, Prosh. Put it in yeah, Prosh. Yeah, that would work. Who puts out a bunch of little goblins? Yeah. Maybe you sprouted Thrynax, sack him to Viscera Seer, get you little three guys. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Now he's a. Uh, what eight, this amounts eight. to is you have to sink so many resources into this, it's not worth to it. To a four mana common, it's yep. not worth it. Don't it's ever play this really ever bad. anywhere at all. This is yep. for new players to draft. <laughs> Sorry. Not that they're going to draft Time Spiral anytime soon, well, to I'm be honest. Saying, when it came out, like... It was pretty good, though. I love Time Spiral. Time Spiral, sure. Time Spiral was great. Fine, but Herd Nar? Not a good card. Herd Nah. A... Hey. He's got <laughs> they suck. Oh, what we didn't name the Nutcracker Urza. Okay, Urza the Nutcracker. He still has a body. That's a little weird. Um. Okay. Yeah, we put put him back together for the holidays. <laughs> put him back together. 
So let's talk about our two streams this past weekend. Yeah. We hope that you guys uh, were able to join us for those. I know we had a number of people were. come in and hang out. Uh, it was a lot of fun. They were dope. Um, the fun. first well, one. Yeah. I'm, the second one. The second I, one was a little rough, Will. Yeah, I'm sorry. Um, the first one was actually really, really good. Uh, Loads it was of fun. A mass box opening. We had six booster boxes, uh, all from the past couple of years. Uh all the way down to Dragon's Maze, which was a garbage box, you know, um, yeah. up to Conspiracy, which I was pretty excited about. Funny enough, uh, we didn't really get all that many good cards in Conspiracy. No. I don't think. We got Duretti. We got Expropriate. Yeah. Um, but other than you that, got, it was kind of... Did you get another Berserk? No. Just Unfortunately think. not. I'm trying to think. Um, yeah. But anyway, it was a lot of fun. We had a couple yeah. people hang out with us. Uh, we really appreciate that. Uh, if anybody's watching it on YouTube after the fact, uh, it was a lot of fun. So yeah. I would encourage you to stick through time. the whole thing. We got a lot of good pulls, uh, which you'll see throughout the video. So definitely check it out. Yeah. It was a lot of fun. It was. It was um, a great time hanging out. Um, we, I don't want to say we will do it again. I'd like to. Uh, but if you serious. guys would like us to, then yeah. absolutely let us know because you know that way we can prioritize it a little bit higher true true um we also the night after that uh saturday evening i believe or sunday evening it was one of these nights um we streamed a winston draft with unstable uh turns out it's really hard to winston draft unstable yeah. we kind of knew that going into it but we, knew we thought hey let's try it yeah um why not and to be honest it was a lot of fun um yeah the set is awesome it, so it's really really so fun cool um obviously no ah. my bow um ah. it would have been a lot better obviously to have more people around mm -hmm. um so if you Which was the plan but it was the plan unfortunately just due to work schedules it kind of yeah. fell through a little bit life um, man which happens yeah exactly so but we did have a lot of fun uh will yeah. was exhausted during oh, that man. time we stayed up super oh, late man. the night before writing music and stuff so that was yeah, exciting yeah. Um, that was fun really fact. Cool. We write music. Well, now, yeah. I'm just gonna throw that little tidbit out there. It's not it's good, true. but we do it. No, but it's fun. It is. Um, so if you anyway, hear Kevin rap. Leave it in the description. <laughs> leave a comment. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, he's the lyricist. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, not the case. I put it out in the aether. Now it has to happen. I'm not rapping. Sorry, guys. Um, hey. If you if get us get a to, thousand subs tomorrow, no, no, I was be realistic because I want this to happen. It's not happening. If by I keep doing this because the cord is down here. Sorry, guys. If by January twentieth, a month, <laughs> give or take, we have two hundred fifty subscribers. That's asking a lot, but yeah, I'm good with that. Will Kevin? Kevin will write a rap, at least sixteen bars. I'll write it. Will's gonna rap it. No, you're gonna rap it. It has to be both of us involved. All in right, this. fine. We will each write a rap. <laughs> Crap. <laughs> I don't want to rap. Well, I've only done it once. Maybe and it was we a don't bad have decision. To. Maybe we don't have to. It's up to you guys. I need that dedicated. <laughs> I hate that we're putting this out there. I don't want to do it. it. I love it. Yeah. All right. Anyway, That's guys. That's our Christmas gift to you. We enjoyed streaming. We encourage you guys uh, to check those videos out and absolutely stick around. We'd like to do a little bit more streaming uh in the near future so that's the plan yeah um but because this is sort of our christmas episode we decided to just kind of chill and play a game of would you rather yeah just a it's a fun just fun a fun time. filled game guys uh, yeah. it's gonna be great um i think so yeah i'm actually excited so we each wrote three would you rather questions for the other person i actually have four because one's kind what? of a throwaway i know one's kind of a throw you'll see what i mean all right you'll see what um I mean. Feel free to play along, I suppose. Yeah. Or comment down below which you would rather do. My bow is... It's not happening. We, this isn't happening. Hey. Just, we'll just stick them right here. Perfect. All right. Okay. So, do you want to kick us off? Heck yeah. All right. All right. Uh, recognize my face. Okay. Would you rather, Kevin, mm. play against current Grixis Death Shadow? Okay. Or Kiki Pod in its heyday? Ooh. Playing, wait for oh, it. Oh, okay. Wait for it. Mm hmm. Mono white wings. Oh. Um. Hmm. That's a good question. I think I would rather play against Death Shadow because uh, while Death Shadow is definitely like that gets around the whole white weenie, you know, cost uprising thing, 
Um, mm. There are a lot of cards that things like Thalia hit, um, which is a good segue. But anyway, um, <laughs> it hits Thought Seize, it hits mm-hmm. Inquisition, it hits a lot of like disdainful, dis- is it disdainful stroke or something like that that they play? Um, anyway, the counter spell that they play. Um, so it hits oh, a lot yeah. of things yeah. in that deck. And while it hits Pod in the Kiki Pod deck, um, it, and maybe I guess Court of Calling if it plays that, like it's basically a creature based deck at that uh, point. Kiki Pod wouldn't use Court of Calling. I didn't think so. Because it's got but, Birthing Pod. Yeah. It doesn't need it. Um, yeah, so I think I would rather play against Death Or Shadow. maybe it would. Maybe it would play Cord because it's just. I'm sure they tried it. I don't know what the original deck know. list was. Well, doesn't. doesn't Isn't Birthing Pod's activation cost? It's like three and tap it or something like that. I'm not trying to remember. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, I think it's definitely Death Shadow. I actually think White Weenie has a decent matchup against Death Shadow. Um, I found a so. bump in my arm. Sorry, I got distracted. It happens. Um, that is a good segue, though, into my first would you rather. And the question mm. is, in modern okay. specifically, would you rather have the original Thalia or the new Thalia that we just got in the recent year ish. I'm gonna say OG Thalia. In modern now, keep that in mind. Yeah. Okay. I know. I know what I'm about. I'm just saying. Say. Because you're exactly right against Death Shadow. Mm-hmm. Thalia is great. I will say though, uh, there are a lot of cards that the new Thalia gives you. Um, sort of an edge against so for instance against uh tron Mm. um both of them are good obviously against that so there's no question there but uh having their creatures come into play tapped when they play like an ulamog or something like that gives you an extra turn to sort of get in that extra damage and because you're sort of on the aggressive aggro plan Mm -hmm. um hopefully you can kind of get under that i actually watched a game today it's either today or yesterday um where they ran the new thalia and it did some major work um, it also hits Tron lands, so they come into play tap, right. which is really nice. Right. Um, that being said, obviously the OG Thalia does work as well, you know, making yeah, everything cost more. Definitely. So um, both are good, but yeah. it's just an interesting point because I think both of them are really nice, especially in the modern meta. They are, but I I still I still hold OG Thalia. Not yeah. to say the new one's bad at all. It's, mm-hmm. I play them both, but yeah, and um, that deck did that I was watching. Yeah, there you go. But it ran four OG Thalia and one of the new. Interesting. Three mana. Yeah. Just um, one more. Hmm. But I'd say there's more things that it gives me more time. Mm-hmm. And Death Shadow being premier, you ca- Death Shadow can't get that crazy start. Yeah, exactly. To. Because unless it's like sitting on three street wraiths in hand or something, it doesn't fill its yard that quickly. It slows them down tremendously. Yeah, serum visions. Yeah. Is, I just yeah. I okay. think I think OG Thalia. All right, fair for enough sure. for sure. Next, faux show. All right, <clears throat> this was kind of my throwaway. Oh, that's <laughs> funny. My autocorrect changed just to milk. <laughs> so I'm gonna say it is milk. Would you rather lose to milk or burn? <laughs> to mill? Yes. Or burn? To um, mill or burn? Would I rather lose to lose, Mill fail, be um, defeated? If I lost to Mill, Fair I feel crush. like I would lose a piece of my soul because I like Mill. Mm. And I've lost to Burn before, and it usually goes pretty quickly. Yeah. So I'd be okay with losing to Burn. This I think, is kind of like the, the drowning or burning argument. It like, is 100%. <laughs> it definitely is. I mean, the thing is, though, like uh, in a Mill deck, unless it's like a combo Mill where it's Frank Sanity and like Traumatize, you. It's going to take some time mm-hmm. to mill you out because mm-hmm. generally it's like mill a few cards here, mill a few cards there. Yeah. Occasionally you get a really good spell that mills you for a little bit more, but it still takes that time. Let them resolve. Sark and Volan. Just... <laughs> yeah. Somehow um, you're alive at turn five. Exactly. Or they're alive at turn five. So it's a slow death, Yeah, I would sure. say, in mill. Burn, they're just going to burn you in the face and you're going to lose yeah. really quickly. So I would much rather do that because then you can get on to the next game. I would rather lose to burn. Yeah. Um, sorry. That's I what just I lied. said. I just <laughs> I flipped it. I would rather lose to Mill. Really? Yeah. Why? Because I think it'd be a closer game. Well, yeah. Of I course. feel like in burn, I might not even have a chance. You might not. Lose. Yeah, that's fair. You know. I don't I, know. I, if I lose fighting, I'd feel better. Like, eh, well, at least I tried. You know what I mean? 
Yeah, but I think if you're losing against Burn, it's clearly because there's nothing you can do, so you can't blame it on, like, your... It's like, oh, well, I just didn't draw the right cards. It's not on me playing. It's that Burn just did, did it faster. Yeah, but that's kind of like a... I don't know. It's a cop-out, and that's why I'm using it. <laughs> but but fine. but fine okay um all right so my next one would you rather in a made-up format in a made play okay. preordain or brainstorm but there are no fetch lands in the format all right <laughs> final answer uh yeah um hmm. <laughs> Would I? <laughs> oh, that's tricky. I. I am still gonna. Mm, I'm gonna say. Uh, you said preordain. Preordain. Not ponder. Not ponder. Fudge. <laughs> With no fetch line. I'm still gonna say brainstorm. Why? It's an instant. Okay. There are other ways to shuffle my deck. That was the key. Yeah. So that's the thing. I mean, the the power behind Brainstorm is absolutely yeah. in it's, manipulating your it's deck. It's just intense. Um, it's so, so nice. even without fetch lands, I think I would find yeah. other ways to shuffle it. Exactly. Part of if it. I get to play Brainstorm, I want to maximize it because yeah. it makes everything run smoothly. Exactly. And it doesn't need much. If you're, I don't know, you could play it in some weird soul type format, some bug mm -hmm. thing, and like explore some crappy like get a land shuffle your deck <laughs> that's honestly a pretty good turn sequence yeah yeah a brainstorm get some stuff <laughs> shuffle my deck yeah like on main phase well it also lets know. you protect things too because you know if you're worried about a thought sees or an inquisition or something like sure. that you can brainstorm your good cards to yeah. the top so you draw them the next turn um which is a really good way to play brainstorm just by uh, the way yeah. by the way um, yeah, I just I think brainstorms too good. Yeah, honestly. brainstorms insane. Um, it's also great with cards like counterbalance and stuff. That's a fun What's deck. Counterbalance do? Uh, it's an enchantment, and I don't remember how much it costs, but it's in blue, obviously. Um, and basically, when an opponent plays a spell, you get to look at the top card of your deck. Uh, if it has the same CMC as the card being cast, you counter it. So interesting. It is its own deck. Uh, or at least it was for a while mm -hmm. because you have Sensei's Divining Top, you yeah. have Brainstorm, um, Preordain, things like that. And so you can manipulate the top of your deck like crazy. And then you just play a bunch of toolbox cards that let you have basically a card for every CMC. You just hold them and counter everything. <laughs> it's pretty awesome. That's pretty It's fun. a deck I would run. <laughs> I was going to say. No, that sounds pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, it is. Um, it's awesome. Man. How creative. Isn't that a cool deck? Yeah, it really is. I'm impressed. Yeah, yeah. All right. Would you rather, Kevin? Yeah. You're playing this deck now. Okay. Okay. Would you rather play the stormiest storm deck of all? <laughs> the perfect storm. Or, yeah. hypothetically, make Leovold work? Oh. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I'm a douche in Magic, and so I like to play Storm and, and Leovold <laughs> combo. <laughs> um, yeah. Man. Yeah. That's interesting. I think I would take, cause, because I've already played Storm and I enjoy Storm, I think I would take a lot more pleasure in making Leovold work somehow. Okay. We have tried. We have tried, and it just doesn't, I mean, in Commander, obviously it works because right, it's naturally. Commander, but like in... We're, I'm talking like a legit constructed format. Yeah, regular Not like Commander's not, but... Like, you know, the big four. I think it would be much... I mean, it is much more difficult. We've definitely tried it. Um, mm -hmm. Though, it would be pretty sweet. I'd have to... Right. I right. want to make Leovold work. All right. So, I would do that. I yeah. We've been talking about um, doing a new way of basically playing. Because occasionally, we used to sit down. We haven't done it as much lately. Because yeah, we've it's been, been doing other streams and stuff. But yeah. what we used to do is pick random colors. Either two or three colors. And then build decks out of it. Uh, just casual decks. And play out a few games of Magic. It's yeah. always been really, really fun, but we thought, hey, let's try a new way to play. Um, and so what we've done is I've been sorting all of my junk stuff and all my bulk rares and things like that. Yeah. And so I've been going through, and the idea came to me, hey, let's pull a card out of here that we want to build a deck around of, write down what that deck we want to make is, shuffle them up, and then we each basically pick 
uh, out of that stack of cards. Yeah. And so say I pull, you know, Grizzlebrand Reanimator, that's the deck I have to use or I have to build off of whatever card I was given. Yeah. Um, in that case, Grizzlebrand. Um, we're taking it to sort of random budget areas, I guess you could Some call it, because places. we don't want to do just like, oh, well, it's Grizzlebrand Reanimator. You know, it's so like it's obvious. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, We want to do more jank stuff, and so that's the plan. We haven't started that yet, but we fun. we have a few cards set aside we'll to see. try that. We'll see, we'll see what uh, happens. And we'll try and hopefully stream that, so it'll be kind of fun to hang out with you guys. That'd be interesting. Um, Leovol versus Storm, though. That was good. Mm-hmm. I'll, uh, yeah, yeah, I mean... I made Storm work. I like when Storm works. Yeah. But Leovold locking somebody out of a game just seems fun. Right. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought you said. <laughs> um, all right. This one is specifically for you. I this doesn't so. reflect the views of It Resolve as, as a whole. Okay. Um, <laughs> okay. <laughs> would you rather uh-huh. ban LSV or unban Jeremy? <laughs> <laughs> Oh. <laughs> oh. I think like a couple days ago you would have been like 100% unbanned Jeremy but then after you figured out all the stuff that had been going on <laughs> here's what I'm weighing yep. how hurt is the magic community if LSV is no longer a part of any tournaments hugely I would say yeah Cause that, and I'm weighing just it to against. Be clear, just to be clear, LSV right now is playing, but he also does commentary. He wouldn't be allowed to do it either. I know, I know. He wouldn't be able. To, couldn't cover them. Couldn't play in them. In tournaments. <laughs> I know. If I get a restraining order against <laughs> Jeremy, and am at every event ever, always. That keeps him away. At least a hundred yards. Okay, but this I'll is just like... I'll just camp at the door. <laughs> What's he gonna do? Go in the back door? There is no back door, Kevin. You can't go in the back door and tell. There's always a back door. There's no Not always. Sometimes there is. There is Look, look. You're throwing in technicalities at this point. Uh, I know. I th- oh man. <laughs> oh that's gross. <laughs> I think I'd have to unban Jeremy and just fight him. <laughs> That's oh, just what I'd have to that do. would be an, an interesting fight, I would think. Yeah, I think I'd do that too. I can't. I mean, it's LSV. Exactly. The positive of LSV outweighs the negative of Jeremy. That's and honestly, and that's what I'm saying. the negative only is as powerful as as you let it be. You let it be. Yeah. Just walk. You up listen to, to him, it, then yank on his ugly little beard. Oh, like, wow, you are throwing. Go some hide massive in a corner, shade, you, my friend. You garbage dumpster man. We're gonna get flagged by his. Uh, Good. Ban us. People. <laughs> Ban us. I don't play in tournaments anyway. Um, well, still. Yeah, I know. Just saying. I, it's just a whole mess, honestly. <laughs> that whole situation. You brought it back I up, know Kevin. I did. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'd rather unban Jeremy. Yeah. And put him in an arm bar. To be fair, I... I don't want to fight him, but no, seriously. To be fair, I didn't agree with his banning I didn't in the either. first place. I didn't either. Um, because he... I don't think he's handling it in the best way, but I... I also no, don't but what think would you do if you thought? And th- that's the thing. Sorry, I'm playing with. I'm just looking at his chain. Uh, if you thought you were in the right, I mean, like, sure, you would. I do, get that. You know, I. I was unduly harsh on you, Jeremy. You are not completely a garbage person, but you are a person who did garbage things. All right. <laughs> Is this the last one? Yes. All right. Let's move off of that. <laughs> Back to magic stuff. <laughs> um, would you rather mm. have Blood Braid be unbanned? Oh. Or all of the cantrips in modern? Oh, my God. Oh, man. Based on me being a combo player, I would say cantrips um, and a control player. But it's Blood Braid. God, I love Blood Braid. <laughs> yeah, you love it. I'm. You're kind of at this in a different way than I thought you'd be. Because I'm like, well, which is worse for modern? Oh, I mean, the cantrips are 100% worse, I you would think? say. Yeah. You think? Yeah. Really? Yes. Are you sure? I am positive. How would you like Storm to go off on turn two every time? I don't think it can. I think it would. Maybe mm-hmm. it 
It would be turn three, a hundred percent consistent. Not a hundred, but like eighty percent consistency. I don't know. I, I think, think you'd have to be. prove that to me because I don't believe you. I mean, that's fine. We can make that happen. But I'm just saying, you get. I think the cantrips would definitely be worse, and they're also worse. They would be used in a higher number of decks because okay. any deck that runs blue is going to run better yeah, cantrips. But only John gets blood. It's like okay. a strict upgrade from Serum Visions. And what do you story. think beats each other? Classic John with blood braid. Yeah. Or, I don't know, Modern Storm with the Cantrips. Pro- Ooh, probably Jund. You think? Honestly. Well, yeah, because they have all the hand destruction. Because they have hand destruction. Right. If it wasn't for the hand destruction, then 100% Storm. Um, but because as good as Jund is, it's not an aggro deck, so it's not going to close out the game in the first few turns. But, no, but that's because it's spending the first few turns thought seizing and inquisitioning, yeah. so it's like stripping resources. So yeah. it's gonna have a good handle on the game by the you know third or fourth turn, ideally. But uh, you'd have to have a pretty fast draw with Storm. No kidding. Um, the thing about it though is like Storm decks in modern, well, Storm decks in like Legacy and Vintage only run one of copies of their win cons most of the time anyway. So it's because it's so not really, even yeah. you don't need it in your hand until you play it. So right. like you f- dig for it in one turn and then get it. Modern, it's a little bit hectic yeah there's a lot more you have to do it's more costly right on resources because it's not like you have free cantrips and like you know gushes and things like that like are you talking without cantrips it's like or hypothetically with cantrips i mean even with cantrips you still have to spend the mana on it whereas Mm -hmm. you know gush would never hit modern um and things like get probe or banned yeah. But I guess if that's if, unbanned, yeah. that would make it a little bit easier. But I still think Jund would be favorable in that matchup. Hmm. I'd say probably. Because Storm isn't a deck that plays to answer things. Yeah. It's, got it's a, non-interactive it's got few, for the exactly. most part. Because it's exactly. just a dedicated combo deck. So really thinking about it, yeah. It I mean... And plus, so many things in classic Jund are two for ones, right? Like, mm-hmm. not only do you get the hand destruction, so you take their combo pieces that way, but Blood Braid, two for one, yeah. right? You get two things out of one card. Uh, Dark yeah. Confidant, you're going to be drawing and getting card advantage out of that. I mean, that's at least a two for one, or it would equate for a two for one. Storm's meant to be a flash in the pan, and you yeah. you win. Yeah. But So if you don't win off Storm, then... I mean, it's You're an all-or-nothing thing. Yeah. We, you've heard us talk about that before, that it's all-or-nothing decks are very, very good when they work and mm-hmm. absolute garbage when they don't do what they're trying to do. Yeah. And so Jund is just always good. Like, Jund may not... It'll, it'll have less favorable matchups and more favorable matchups, but it's Jund. Like, it's going to yeah. be okay no matter what. So I'm with you. I think Jund's probably favorite. I'm with you on that one. Um, but I do think in general, cantrips, all the cantrips being unbanned in modern worse. would be worse for modern. I still um, think so. Honestly. I think so. I just think because of looking at the field that Bloodbraid was in at the time mm-hmm. and how much Jun dominated. Jun did dominate. 100%. Like there was, there were no decks that could stand against it. But we've not know? gotten to see modern with things like Ponder, have we? It was never, like, not banned. So, like, we don't right. know how that would affect it preordained the same way. Um, so, I I mean, you know, I'm just saying we don't really know how that would affect it other yeah. than it would make a lot of things a lot more consistent. Yeah. Um, and, I mean, I agree. Jund is really strong, but I think... Or, uh, excuse me, Bloodbraid. And I think given decks like Death Shadow, Jund Death Shadow would be more of a thing. You know what I mean? You think... I think so because you blood braid into a death shadow like that's just good because by Not the time always, you're though. by the time you're casting blood braid you're going to be below that life total so it'll be fine because you're going to shock yourself at least twice you're going to fetch you're going to yeah but I'm thinking about all the other stuff seize. like you wouldn't be able to get Tassiger Gromag Angler well sure but but I mean your only payoff really is death shadow at that point because everything else you're hitting is like you don't get straight removal and exactly like you get yeah, bolt colagon's command but in that at that point oh, no you Colagon's don't sorry command well yeah would yeah, be pretty sweet too um yes but without snapcaster no without, exactly you yeah. know what i'm saying so thought I'm sees, with you. bolt colagon's 
Um, they don't even run Bolt right now. Although if well, exactly, if Bloodbraid exactly. came back, I promise you Bolt would come back more. Probably. Because Fatal Push doesn't hit it as easily. Well, Fatal Push is, yeah. It hits it, but it's a lot harder. Yeah. I mean, you fetch, right? Like, that'll trigger it, but still. So, yeah, I don't think I don't think Bloodbraid Elf honestly goes in Gem Death Shadow. Maybe it not. might, but I, I just think that there's... If it did, it would take a restructuring of the deck no, for exactly, sure. Exactly. Um, I think Dark uh, Confidant would come into that deck for yeah. sure. I mean, Bloodbraid into mm. Thoughtseize or Inquisition, that would be pretty good. I mean, yeah, that's great. Um, that's great. That was always good. Bloodbraid and a Confidant would be good. Death Shadow would be pretty good most of the time. Tarmogoyf would be good. I'm just saying, the deck that Death Shadow is is very different from Jun. It is. Jun. It's a much more controlling deck exactly. in that it has actual counters and things like mm-hmm. that. Um, and it doesn't want to roll the dice on a response necessarily mm-hmm. or just a, yeah. a value thing. It wants to be able to race to its um, Jun Death Shadow. Mm hmm wants to race to death shadow and that's it it's very aggressive yeah it is very aggressive so yeah i'm with you on that i I get that but i I do still think cantrips would be worse for mono it's just on phantom both yeah do that make that happen wizards you got this (laughs) don't do that (laughs) let's add even more problems to magic um (laughs) sure why not (laughs) we're already there anyway at this point guys pepper that in um all right all right did well, you want to ask one more no that you can think of i didn't have one no, it's fine all right good one was kind um, of a throwaway i had to add one more i don't know it's fine milk or burn <laughs> milk or burn <laughs> all right so moving on to our question of the week uh this past week we asked you in light of our unstable events and things uh we asked what the what your favorite land was from unstable um the basic land art is fantastic it's obviously beautiful. if you haven't seen it in person gorgeous holy crap it's amazing gorgeous. Um, it looks good on mythic spoiler wherever you saw it online i promise it looks better in person oh yeah it's insane oh, yeah. um i was a, honestly a little skeptical about it at first. were you really weirdly yes i was uh, i was always pumped i was like when i first saw it on mythic spoiler mm-hmm. i was like oh looks good yeah. i mean it looks really good but it's just very different no border at all yeah like all of that sort of a thing and so i was a little oh, on the fence man. but seeing it in person man seeing all of them are fantastic so uh we've only yeah. got five potential answers so do you want to order them yes I do. in the way you think this went i think it went mountain at the bottom yes okay. sorry five to one yeah mountain mm-hmm. um Forest. Okay. Plains. Okay. Island. Okay. Swamp. Okay. Um, you got the top two correct. Island swamp. So it. So be... swamp was first. Yeah. With sixteen total votes. Oh, oh, um, is... I pulled a foil one the other day and it made me happy. Yeah, yeah, um, he did. He did I'm gonna that. brag a bit about that because that was pretty yeah, sweet. He did that. Uh, in second place, island with 14 votes. Yeah, island's gorgeous. Um, we got a lot of votes actually. On and then that. forest, forest and yes. third. Forest with three votes. And got then third. plains and then mountains. Nope, mountain got two votes and plains only got one. Dude, plains is way nicer than mountains. Uh yeah, I kind of think so. I think so. I really like the planes, surprisingly. They're nice, man. They are nice. I like them. They're I don't good. normally... They're not as bright, maybe, as I would have liked, but... Yeah, that's fair. But they're... they're There's pretty. so much contrast in that art, though. I know. It looks beautiful. I know. All of it. Honestly, John Avon did a fantastic job. Let's did be honest. Did he paint them all? hmm I believe so. That man. They are gorgeous. Yeah. Um, I would suggest picking them up, by the way. Um, not foil versions because you don't want to pay eighty bucks for that. But unless you do and you can, then I mean, by all hey, means. if you can afford that, by then all means you should be making the podcast because you could do better quality work than we could. That's not true. <laughs> you don't have right. the heart. Uh, wow, that was lame. Anyway, <laughs> so the question of the week this week is: uh, What do you want that is magic related for Christmas? That could be anything from a specific card to a booster box to a commander deck to sleeves like the new Eclipse. They're not new. The Eclipse sleeves. They're gorgeous. Um, they're they're fantastic. Oh. A playmat maybe. Ooh. Um, somebody actually already commented on the post and said a novel. Uh, I think Alara Reborn novel or something like that. Wow. Which I, I thought was thought really a good idea because I would like to read those. I 
I'm skeptical that they'd be good, but I would like to read them. Um, yeah. So yes, uh, Re- reading Wizards lore for the uh, for the sets themselves does not leave me with much confidence that the writing is quality. Yeah. Um, no you offense, read Wizards. Amonkhet I did. Together, I, I read all of Amonkhet. We that was were, interesting. We read it together too. That was super good. Um, the dialogue is just. It's not great. It's really not. Um, I did start reading the original, the very, very first book uh, with Mishra and Urza back when they were archaeological explorer people. Um, And I started it, and it was actually kind of interesting. I enjoyed it. Uh, The dialogue was much better, but it still wasn't great. Uh, And so eventually I just kind of put it down and never really picked it back up unfortunately but i would like to finish it at some point just to say that i have if anything else you know what i mean sure i want to know it um but yeah so answer (laughs) the question guys comment below or comment on any of the posts on any of our social media accounts they are everywhere all the time um but with that we do come to our crack of hacks uh sponsored in part by no entirely by uh grand slam comics and collectibles they do so much for us and we encourage you to check them out their link is in the description down below Uh, so make sure to click on it and let us or let them know what you think uh we do have our gold cards mine is it lamont carnage tyrants um they were so nice and they're gonna give it to me yeah i didn't get it i got glacial fortress which i got root bound crag (laughs) uh which is fine like the lands are great. They are, but not in draft. No. Um, is that good? I feel like it's pretty good. So I've got a couple interesting picks. Um, Vanquish the Week is decent. Okay, so I sort of have three potential picks. Obviously, Gr- Glacial Fortress is not the pick. Um, but I do have Vanquish the Week, which is just a decent black removal spell. It sort of leaves you open. Um, obviously, being in black, you kind of want to be in the Pirates theme, yeah. um, but it is still good. Fiery Cannonade is also an interesting card. It deals two damage to each non-pirate uh, creature. It's a three-mana instant, which is pretty good, but it's very... I mean, if you're against you know, a pirate deck, it literally is a dead card, so... Probably wouldn't want to first pick that. It's more of a sideboard. It's a very good sideboard card, but it's definitely yeah. more of a sideboard card. I, agree with that. I do have an Imperial Aerosaur, which is a flying 3-3, three, three, and when it enters the battlefield, target creature gets plus 1, plus 1, and flying until end of the turn. Oh, that's pretty sweet. Uh, which is very good. Uh, obviously goes great in the dinosaur deck, but is actually just kind of good in any deck. I think I would rather take that over Vanquish the Weak. Uh, but it's kind of close for me because I really do like Vanquish the Week. Removal is obviously a priority too. So definitely, definitely. My rare, like I said, was Root Brown Crag. Got Kevin snagged over there. I did. Uh, I'm not mad. <laughs> um. So, but my my pack is kind of not awesome. I'm not a hundred percent on what I'd take. I try to start with my first pick. If there's no clear bomb, um, I see if I can go into like a theme. Um, yeah. <laughs> so uh, I have Deep Root Waters here, which kind of fits that description. <laughs> Whenever you cast a Merfolk spell, create a 1 1 blue Merfolk token with hexproof. Uh, I like that card. <laughs> yeah. I think it's pretty much it. With so many cheap Merfolk here, the synergy in Merfolk is very nice. Mm-hmm. Um, I think that's kind of my pick. I also have Charter Course, though, which is really strong. That's just a good card. Yeah. Draw a card. Draw, sorry. Draw two cards, then discard a card unless you've attacked this turn, which is sweet. And it's yeah. for two. So it's divination for two. Um, and in limited at turn two, sometimes. hopefully you've, yeah. you, you're you going to be attacking on turn two or three, hopefully. So. Yeah. And honestly, at turn two, if I have to throw away my 1-1 one, one, just to, trigger. to have attacked and just draw two cards for free, I'm kind of all right with that I think. yeah i think so Depend- and honestly like, a lot of the low drops trade with each other anyway exactly. so like you offer a trade and it doesn't really matter if it yeah. dies or not and there are some one one flyers running yeah too. there are one drop flyers i should say so yeah. i don't know um yeah so deep root waters it's a great <laughs> i would card, take it i, would I think it's hilarious um it's hilarious. still no goal Good. cards we're getting close to the end of ixalan season here um yeah, I don't know. I don't think we're going to find them, to be honest. We found one. I found mine in the massive box opening, but it doesn't count. I know. 
Sad day. No? It's a really good card, though. Oh. I like it, Lamont. Um, anyway, we do have one more thing to announce very, very quickly. Uh, we're quitting. No, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> no, uh, yeah. next week, be due to the holiday, uh, we decided we are not going to do an episode next week. We will maintain uh, all of our other content. So Cracker Packs yeah. will be going up. We also still have our card spotlight, which you guys can now vote on. Um, mm-hmm. and, uh, other than that, uh, we will just not be having a podcast episode. So yep. hang with us. We'll be back the next week, but, uh, just are they be voting? Aware. Are they voting today or tomorrow? They have already started voting. Not for this one. For you're saying for, for the next one, we record early guys. So that's why we're confused a little bit. Um, yes, voting will start tomorrow right. for the next card spotlight. Um, cool. The current one, I believe, Swords to Plowshares one. Yeah. So stay tuned for that tomorrow. Uh, we have that card spotlight then. So, guys, if you enjoyed this episode, it was a bit of a rambly one. We were just kind of yeah. chilling having fun. But if you yeah. did enjoy it, uh, make sure to leave a comment down below. Make sure to like this video. Make sure to subscribe for all of our content. Make sure you turn your notifications on. Uh, that way you get all of our updates when we post videos, which is yeah. a lot. There's a bunch. Uh, we post five videos a week minimum. Yeah. Some are fun. Some are very short. Yeah. Little cracker packs. Little cracker Some packs. are like this. Those cracker yeah. packs are kind of fun, though. Cause yeah. You, I've pulled some really good stuff out of this. Um, yeah. yeah. I don't know which ones have gone up, so I'm not going to say which <laughs> which I've opened, but there's some pretty smart. good ones. Smart. Um, Guys, if you're traveling for the holidays, be safe. Have absolutely. a great time. Happy holidays, Merry Christmas, et cetera, et cetera. Absolutely, guys. We really appreciate all that you guys have done for us in this time. Mm-hmm. Uh, obviously, Christmas and the holiday season is kind of a time to reflect on all that. So thank you, guys. We really appreciate, appreciate excuse me, all of the support you've given us. Uh, and, yeah, we, we hope to have a good 2018. No, we're going to have a great 2018. Oh, okay. We're going to take it, take it by the horns. Yeah. You know, grab the bull by its horns. Yeah, that 2018 bull. It's going to be rough. I was going to make... No, I'm not going to say that. Anyway, guys, thank you again. We are going to get out of here. My name is Kevin. My name is Will. And this has been It Resolves.